Hello, my dear friend. Here is a square with a triangle inside it. The lengths of the size are 3, 4 and 5. Our task is to figure out the length of the square side. Let's call it the value of b. Pause this video if you'd like to do this task on your own and at the end we will compare our answers. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. This will help me to grow faster and you'll become a crucial part of that growth. So, let's begin with understanding the type of triangle we have. As you might have noticed, the triangle has side lengths of 3, 4 and 5, which means it is a right triangle. So, the angle between the sides 3 and 4 is 90 degrees. Moving forward, I propose to focus on these two right triangles, which have exactly the same angles. To show it, let's label this angle as 8 degrees. Here we have a right angle as it is a square. Therefore, the third angle of this triangle will be 90 degrees minus 8 degrees. To find out this angle, we can 180 degrees minus 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees minus 8 degrees. When we simplify it, we just simply get 8 degrees. As I mentioned earlier, these two right triangles have exactly the same angles. But how does this help us to find out the length of the square side? Well, let's indicate the shorter side of this triangle as C. Since the entire side of the square is equal to B, this part will be B minus C. Now, we utilize the property that these two triangles are similar to each other. Consequently, the proportion of the longer leg to the hypotenuse will be equal. We can write it as b minus c over 3 is equal to b over 4. I propose to solve this equation for c. We first cross multiply, then distribute and finally simplify. We get that b equal to 4c, which can be expressed as c equal to b over 4. We will then substitute it in our picture. Now it's time for a Pythagoras theorem. b squared plus the quantity b over 4 squared is equal to 4 squared. This will be 17 over 16 b squared is equal to 16. And the value of b will be 16 over the square root of 17. So this is the length of the square's side. Feel free to drop your calculated value in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.